Hello friends and welcome back. My name is Michaela and I have a 20 minute yoga for beginners type of practice to share with you today. I have two things that I wanna say about this class. Number one, if you feel a little bit intimidated by yoga, I was as well, so you're not alone. Just know that I'm over here celebrating you for showing up, giving it a try, and we're gonna take things nice and slow. And number two, I actually think this class is good for anybody, even if you've been practicing yoga for a long time. It's a great way to dial things back, move slower, and listen for the deeper cues. You might find something new in your practice today. Now, if you'd like some music to flow to, I've linked a playlist below. You'll hit play as soon as we hop on the mat together, and I will see you there. Okay, friends, if you want some music to listen to and you've got the playlist ready, let's hit play together in three, two, one, go. And we are gonna get started in a child's pose. It's called Balasana. So come to your hands and your knees and just start to bring your knees out wider than your hips. So they might come as wide as the mat. Now bring your big toes to touch or close towards one another. Send your hips back to your heels, reach your arms forward a little bit more and then drop your forehead down to the mat. Now, right away, if it feels okay for you to close your eyes, go for it. And if not, don't force it, okay? You can just pick one thing to look at. Start to take a slow breath in through the nose, breathe and feel your back ribs start to expand. And as you exhale, feel your body melting heavy, especially those hips, letting them sink back to the heels. Take another full breath here, inhale. And exhale. Yeah, we're gonna be playing around with those deep breaths throughout this whole practice. It's gonna help you invite some more space into your body. And it's a tool, it gives you something to, to really focus on to help keep you present within your experience. Very slowly, start to come all the way up to your hands and your knees for a tabletop position. So you can just wiggle your wrists under your shoulders, knees underneath of your hips. Now take an inhale and drop the belly. Lift your tailbone, lift your chin. Good, as you exhale, start to push the floor away, round your spine and look underneath of you. Moving through some cat cows, inhale, lowering the belly, tailbone lifts and your gaze lifts up. Exhale to round, really let your head drop and puff up from the middle of your back. Good, take one more big inhale to expand and open the front body. Exhale to round, feeling space in the back body. You got it, you're doing awesome. Come back to a neutral tabletop position and wiggle your knees out just an inch, not as wide as we did for the child's pose, so just a little bit wide. Good, right hand is gonna come directly underneath of your gaze. Take an inhale and reach the left arm up and open, twist to the left side, reach, reach, reach. As you exhale, the left arm is gonna thread behind the right. Try to lower your left shoulder and the left side of your face down to the mat. Okay, you can use your right hand to support you having it on the floor. And breathe into the space behind that left shoulder blade. Just one more breath, inhale. And exhale. Awesome, now slowly press yourself back up. Hands can come under the shoulders. Keep your knees as they are. It's still a little bit wider. Take an inhale, drop your belly, lift your tailbone, lift your chin. Exhale, round through the spine, tuck the chin into chest. Come back to neutral, so just let your spine land where it wants to be. Bring your left hand directly underneath of your gaze. Inhale, reach the right arm up and open, twist to the right side, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, thread that right arm behind the left. Right shoulder is gonna come down towards the mat. Right side of your face drops down as well. Again, maybe keeping the left hand on the mat just to feel that support holding your body in the shape, the shoulder opener. Breathe in. 
and breathe out. Awesome, nice slow pace, there's no rush. Help yourself back up to a tabletop position and just readjust so that your knees come underneath of your hips, wrists are underneath of the shoulders. Tuck your toes and start to lift your hips up, reach them back and maybe wiggle the hands forward one more inch. So this is your downward facing dog, my friends. Adho Mukha Svanasana is the Sanskrit term for this, po this pose. I want you to imagine like your body is in an upside down V shape. Your tailbone is the highest point and don't worry too much if your heels are lifted. I'd actually rather you have a tiny bend of your knees and then think about reaching the tailbone up even higher. And then if you want to play around and experiment with dropping the heels or pedaling one heel and then the other little bend into the knee and then the other, shake out your head, let your neck relax, spread your fingers wide. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Good. Now gaze forward and just start to tiptoe towards the top of the mat. Bring your feet up to meet your hands, landing in a forward fold. So letting your upper body just drop heavy over top of your legs. You can have a little bend of your knees if you'd like. Option to stay still or maybe reach for opposite elbows and take a little sway of your upper body side to side. Feel your weight shift from left to right. Good, breathe in and breathe out. Awesome, let your upper body land at center. Inhale for a halfway lift. So bring your hands to your shins and then start to reach the top of your head forward. Imagine your body's in an L shape. Good, and then exhale, release, forward fold, your upper body drops down. Tiny micro bend of your knees, start to rise and stand all the way up, reach the arms up, gaze goes up, and then exhale, forward fold, melting all the way back down, you got it. Let's rise up once again, stand up, reach up, gaze goes up, Good, now interlace your fingers, keep your arms up overhead. Pointer fingers and thumbs are pointing upward. Your right leg is gonna just cross behind the left. Inhale to reach as tall as you can. Exhale, tilt over to the left side. This stretch is so, so good. Feeling into the right side line of your body, that right hip, all the way down to that right ankle. One full breath. Good, and find your way back to center. Take another breath in. Exhale, left leg behind the right and tilt over to the right side. Breathing into the left side line of your body. Inhale and exhale. You got it, back to center and forward fold. Release everything down. Take a halfway lift, hands to shins, reach through the crown of your head and exhale, fold. Plant your hands and step your left leg all the way back. Good, bring your left knee down to the mat. Untuck your left toes, rise up to a low lunge. So lift your chest, reach the arms up overhead. Nice, and if this is feeling a little bit not so good for your left knee, you want some more support, you just roll the edge of your mat so you have a little bit more thickness underneath of that left knee. Good, keep the arms up, find length in your spine, big inhale. As you exhale, twist to the right side, reach the left arm forward, right arm goes back, and try to keep your shoulders stacked over top of your hips. Spread your fingers wide, take up space, and find a big breath in through the nose and out with a sigh. Good, inhale, reach your arms up overhead, gaze comes forward. Exhale, bring your hands down to frame your front foot. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee up, and then I want you to drop that left heel down. Look at your left foot, it's almost going parallel with the bottom edge of your mat. Windmill the arms up and open, finding a warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Take your arms out nice and wide. Look down at your feet. Can you see almost like you could draw a line from your front heel all the way back to the inner arch of your left foot. Right toes are pointing straight forward and your right knee is in line with your big toe and your second toe. Good, gaze forward over your front middle finger. 
finding a drishti, so it's more like a focus. Good, and then finding a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Keep your legs as they are. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Left arm goes back, reversing your warrior. Feel the strength in your legs, in your foundation. Feel the openness in the right side body. Reach right fingertips up. Big breath. Incredible. Now bring your hands all the way down to frame your front foot. You can lift that left heel up. And if you can, try and step your right foot back to meet the left. You're in a high plank just for a moment and then bring your knees down. Good, untuck the toes. Now bend your elbows, keep them close to your side body, lower all the way down to your belly, to your chest. Take an inhale and lift the chest up just a couple inches, try to press down into the tops of the feet. Exhale and lower the chest. Good, push into your hands back to a tabletop, tuck your toes, and then lift your hips up, reach them back for your downward facing dog. And if you need to readjust, you might walk the feet in another inch or two, spread your fingers wide, continue to lift your tailbone up nice and high. Good, let the head go, shake it out. I always forget to do that one, so here's my reminder and yours as well. <laughs> Big inhale and exhale. Gaze forward, my friends, and start to walk towards the top of the mat. Find a forward fold. It's Uttanasana, that's the name of it. Let your head drop, shake it out. Inhale, halfway lift, Urdhva Uttanasana. Hands come to the shins. Slide your shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, fold, release. Good, slow and steady, bend your knees. Roll all the way up, stand up, reach up, gaze goes up. Exhale, bring prayer hands through in front of your heart and just stay here, maybe a moment to close your eyes. Maybe a moment to gaze out in front of you. Check in with your body, with your breath and how you feel. Good, let's keep it going, okay? Arms reach up overhead, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, hinge from your hips and come all the way down. Halfway lift because it feels good. And exhale, plant your hands, step your right leg all the way back, bring your right knee down to the mat. Untuck the right toes, lift the chest, lift the arms, find a low lunge. This is Anjaneyasana. And again, if you wanna roll the right side edge of your mat to protect that right knee, you go for it. Take an inhale to lift up tall. Exhale, twist to the left side. Right arm forward, left arm reaches back. Good, take up as much space as possible. Spread your fingers wide. Inhale and exhale. Awesome, arms reach up overhead, gaze forward, breathe in. Exhale, hands come down to frame your front foot. Now tuck your back toes, lift your right knee up, and then just drop your right heel down. You can always look at that foot before you even rise. That right foot is running parallel with the bottom edge of your mat. Push into your legs, windmill the arms up and open. Take arms out wide, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. So a generous bend into your front knee. And again, can you draw that invisible line from your left heel all the way back to the inner arch of your right foot? Just be mindful the left knee isn't going over to the right side. You wanna keep it fairly straight in line with your left toe, big toe and second toe. Awesome, breathe in and breathe out. You're doing incredible. Keep your legs as they are. Inhale and reach the left arm up towards the ceiling or the sky and the right arm can come down along the right leg. Yeah, keep that lunge. Breathe into the left side ribs. Stay as you exhale. And slowly cartwheel your hands down to frame your front foot. Good, if you want, maybe you wiggle the left foot back or maybe you step it back to meet the right. High plank just for a moment. And then bend your knees, bring them down so they're just behind your hips. Inhale. Exhale, lower chaturanga. So elbows are close to your side body as you control the lower down. Inhale to lift just your chest, baby cobra. Feel the strength in the back line of your body. Exhale to lower down. 
push into your hands, come back up onto your knees, and then wiggle the knees out wide. Big toes come to touch. Balasana, we've been here before. Child's pose, sink your hips back to your heels, let your forehead melt down, and find a tiny bend of your elbows so that the forearms can drop heavy onto the mat. Soften through your jaw, soften through your face. Take some deep intentional breaths here. Your physical body and your nervous system loves those deep breaths. Let's do it together. Inhale. And exhale. Good. One more. Breathe in through the nose. And out through the nose. And bring your hands under your shoulders. Slowly peel all the way up to sit back on your heels. Maybe bring the knees in back towards one another. Reach the arms up overhead, inhale. And exhale, twist to the right side. Right arm back, left arm forward. And then bring your left hand down to your right knee and your right hand comes to your low back. Good, just a nice easy seated twist. One deep breath into your spine and out. And just let your body naturally unwind back to center. Reach the arms up overhead, big inhale. Exhale, twist to the left side, right arm forward, left arm back. And then lower right hand to left knee. Left hand comes to your low back. Maintaining this twist, but still lifting up through the top of your head. Good, breathe in and breathe out. Let your body come back through to center. Breathe your arms up overhead, inhale. Exhale, bend your elbows, cactus shape your arms, lift up through the chest, maybe your gaze starts to lift up. Big inhale right into your heart space. As you exhale, push your arms forward, tuck chin into chest and round through your spine. Good, just one more like that. Inhale to open the chest, bend your elbows to 90 degrees, lift the gaze, lift through the chin. Exhale to round, push the arms forward, tuck chin into chest. And then just let your body come back to a tall spine. Hands might rest on your thighs. Maybe your eyes close for one last intentional breath. Breathe in celebration. Breathe in appreciation for you, for your body, for your life. And exhale. Hmm. It feels so good to move slow. Thank you so much for being here today, my friend. I hope you enjoyed your practice and hope you enjoyed this time to connect with yourself on a deeper level. I would love to see you again. Okay, I've got lots of classes on my channel. Message me if you want more of these beginner style flows. I absolutely love creating them for you. And I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you soon.